Wow. Greetings, you guys, and welcome to TikTok Live here with Bloom from Within Love. I go by Blooming. And yes, you guys, the Lionsgate portal is still open. I think I heard someone say that um, technically it's open to maybe the 17th, but it's neither here nor there. I just wanted to come on real quick just to say to you guys, um, I hope you all are shifting in your energy. This is the prime time to really just let go, like really let go of things that are not serving you anymore in a high vibrational way, um, whether that be just your own mindsets, your own habits, your beliefs or attachments, like whatever that is, just to let it all go. And if you feel like you need help with that, just asking, you know what I'm saying, whatever you believe in uh, to step in to assist you with that so you can bring in some alchemy, so you can bring in just the high vibrations and love and light and beauty and bliss and enjoying your journey. Um, I wanted you guys to see this. That's why I stopped. I wasn't planning on coming on here. Um, I was just enjoying this view and love and light and beauty and bliss and enjoying your journey. Um, I wanted you guys to see this. That's why I stopped. I wasn't planning on coming on here. Um, I was just enjoying this view. Reiki session done. Even Reiki masters need Reiki practitioners, right? So one of the things that she mentioned, you know, she talked about her resonance a little bit after the session, which was glorious. But she said that, you know, it's all about our perception, you know, because I had some intentions for the, the session in terms of clearing and things like that. And she gave me some strategies, but she also mentioned, and I'm going to share this with you guys too, maybe this will empower you. You know, she mentioned that, you know, things affect you based on what you believe. So if, you know, you feel like you're under attack, you feel like you're under assault, if you feel like people are practicing, you know, some dark things, which people do that. But she said that when you empower yourself and realize that, you don't have to receive no matter what people do and bring, you know, towards you. If you are in your own empowerment and doing your own, like, kind of energetic maintenance or whatever that means for you, okay, like just clearing yourself every day or court cutting every day, right, that no matter what people do or you feel like people are doing towards you, right, could have no effect. And I just looked, I was like, that's true. I mean, it's, it's very empowering to realize that, you guys, because what I'm starting to gather in this community of the world of tarot, you know, energy work, things like that, depending on where people are and with their belief systems, it can become very draining if you think about it. If you're always on the defensive about who practicing some crazy shit on you today. You know what I'm saying? Let's just keep it 100. You know, people are in different frequencies. That's just the, the nature of this 3D reality. So people will do what they do, right? And if we're always living in the defense mode because, oh, so-and-so over here is a hater, and they probably are, and so-and-so over here is jealous, and they probably are, and so-and-so over here is trying to pray stuff and put spells and yada, yada, and they probably are. But we, she mentioned how we feed it power when we feel like it has power over us. When we focus in on that instead of empowering ourselves, realize like, well, you know, I'm doing my own energy clearing. I'm staying in my own frequency. I don't have to engage. I, you know, I am protected. I don't have to keep, you know what I'm saying? If we're doing our own personal due diligence in a way, it's basically what she was saying, that you don't have to. It doesn't affect you. It's about you just managing to own and master your own energy. I think that's the core of what it really is. Because we're going to always have people, you guys. It's not going to end as long as we are in this 3D reality. We're going to always have people who don't understand us, people who differ than us, people who don't agree with us, people who don't like us, people who are jealous, people who want to compete, people who want to fight. You know, you're going to always have that. It's a waste of our energy just to stay totally focused on it, though. 
And um, it's something that I kind of just came to realize that, and even in the world of tarot, you know, nothing against any readers, you know what I'm saying? It all serves a, a point and a purpose, but at some point it starts to feel like, is that, you know, are your, is your life going to be consumed by, is your day-to-day life going to be consumed by who don't like you today? Okay. By who hating on you today? By who... You know what I'm saying? Or it, or are you just going to take your power and live your life and in your bliss regardless? Are you going to overindulge in listening to things and readings that's about who hates you today and who jealous of you today and what the karmic did and what that, that, that last MF did and, and what, you know what I'm saying? Like after a while, it's like, okay, well, I know what I need to know. Okay, they toxic is karmic, whatever. Life goes on, move on. Yeah, I'm empowered. Nothing can touch me. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? As you're shifting in your energy, as you're choosing to align with the lion's gate and awaken and tap in, you know, it's up to us. I ain't going to lie. It's up to us. You know, if we want to stay in the pain and suffering cycle, if we want to stay, you know what I'm saying, in the addictive cycle of, you know, feeding our minds with, oh my God, they're coming after me and oh my God. And you know what I'm saying? It's like, no, nah, they can't. I'm unfuckwittable, remember? I can't do nothing to me. I'm unfuckwittable, remember? Because it's about my choice. If I feed it, it grows. <laughs> what we feed, it grows, doesn't it? I'm choosing today, and I invite you to do the same. Feed what soothes your soul in a high vibrational, loving way. Feed what what makes you feel strong. Feed what puts a smile on your face. Feed what rejuvenates, not depletes. And sometimes when we're in a lot of pain, we can get a false sense of validation through listening to rejuvenate, not depletes. And sometimes when we're in a lot of pain, we can get a false sense of validation through listening to